Hi, my name's Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. My channel focuses on investor databases such as venture capital lists, private equity databases, angel investor lists, high net worth private investor databases, and more. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that you can find more information on these databases by going to the description section below and clicking on my Fiverr link. When you click on the Fiverr link, it will go to my profile and you can see the other databases that I have created for clients. For example, venture capital and private equity databases for USA, Canada, UK and Europe, the Middle East, China, India, Asia Pacific and more. So today this video highlights some of the research that can be done to create venture capital private equity databases. My previous videos have mainly focused on the final product Whereas today I'm going to give a little bit of an insight on some of the research that I have done and that you could do uh, to create your own venture capital and private equity and angel investor databases. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to show an example of the USA Venture Capital Database uh, that I offer on my Fiverr account. For example, that is this one here. Um, to view my venture capital and private equity at databases again just go to the description below and that will take you to the Fiverr profile. Now to start off with I have two large databases that I use to create smaller lists and they are the corporate venture capital database this is a 2022 version and as you can see here it has 15,800 contacts and the second database is the Master Venture Capital Database, and this is one that I've highlighted before in my other videos. And this one has 90,000, well, about 91,000 contacts. So those two databases are ones that I use mainly to create final products such as this, the US Venture Capital Database, and this is the USA Venture Capital Contact Database. So it actually has the first name and the last name in the title and the working emails of the people. Whereas this one here focuses mainly on the funds, uh, contact and their descriptions. Um, but we can get into that in a little bit more. So coming back to the uh, creation of databases, um, you know, I'm going to come back to the, this is the corporate database. So this is a database which is very unique because it has the company name, uh, website, database link, sector interest, and the top startups funded. Now this particular database uh, actually has a couple links in it already to other uh, websites on that cater to venture capital and private equity. And if I were to start off and just use a quick example here, uh, for example, uh, if I were to look at Gray, Graycroft is a venture capital firm uh, that invests in social media, SAS, FinTech. Um, it's rather large, so if I were to actually click on that one there, um, you will see that it will direct you to a website uh, that uh, will show more detail about that particular investor. Um, this is a unicornnest.com. Uh, um, and you can see when I click it, it doesn't give you the full view because this is a database, this is a website that you actually have to pay uh, to get access to. Uh, but if you look here, this shows you the amount of investments, the round, the portfolio companies, um, some of the sectors of interest. It also has links to their website, which I also have, uh, and their Twitter accounts. Uh, and more detail, uh, most of this just initial section that you can get a look at without actually uh, being uh, subscribing to will maybe just give you one contact name. So as I scroll down here it gives you more details on the type of investments and the companies that they've made. Um, so that's a very handy uh, database. Um, now if I were to go a little bit further here and I, I click this link, this link will take you to the crunchbase.com um, which again is another one of those uh, subscription-based uh, venture capital uh, databases uh, that allow you to build your own database. Um, so this one here, again, we're, we're with Graycroft, you can see it has the number of investments, the num number of employees, the contacts. Uh, further on down, you can see more information about contacts 
you can get information about the company, bit of background, etc., etc. Uh, again, this these are very detailed databases, um, but this is for somebody who is really looking to do the deep research to build a investor database. Now, if I go back to my uh, initial database of USA Ventures, so this is the type of database that basically was created using those other two resources. Um, so in effect, uh, in brief, what clients come to me for is to uh, build venture capital lists or buy venture capital lists off the shelf that I have already created, such as USA, Canada, UK, Europe, Middle East. I also have some smaller uh, databases that I've created for clients in blockchain, tech, healthcare, mobile apps, fintech, and, and some early stage and obviously angel investor databases. So you can see by taking those two large, very detailed databases, if you can see I scroll down here, you can see there's 15,000, and this is a global database, so it includes uh, many countries. Um, and again, there's sector interests. So uh, depending on what you're looking for, this one here, for example, is a venture capital firm in China, has financial services and education, um, and that helps you to narrow down. Now, if you go to your Excel uh, tab above, uh, you can use the find feature and for example if you wanted to uh, drill down into uh, uh, you know for example if you wanted to look for investors that uh, are interested or have invested in Bitcoin uh, or cryptocurrencies where well, you can see here for example here's a uh, venture capital firm that's that's done that so you can use the search and find uh, features there um, so that's a very good database to use to uh, to create again the smaller lists uh, that I've created uh, and luckily most of the databases that people are looking for me do fall within USA, Canada, UK and Europe lots of interest in the Middle East uh, for sure uh, for venture capital and then the other resource is the uh, 91,000 master venture capital database uh, that I use uh, again, for more research, to build more lists, again, if I scroll over here to the right, um, you're going to see that it has a detailed description. So again, uh, depending on what you're looking for, um, this is a very, very helpful tool uh, to find not only angel investors, uh, but to find venture capital uh, firms as well. Um, you know, uh, in, and again, they can be searched by country, they can be searched through um, uh, sector. Uh, if we move to the right a little bit further, you can also see that this one here has uh, a section where you can see their industries or the sectors that they are mostly interested in. For example, finance, financial services, um, and so on and so on. And again, this is a global database which uh, was used to create the smaller uh, database of U.S. Uh, venture capital. This one here has about uh, 4,000, four or 5,000 contacts. So again, these are, when you come to me looking for venture capital private added databases, you're basically coming to me to save time for your in initial research. Sure, if you had these two databases, you can do the same sort of research that, that I've done. Um, but for the most part, your job is to run a company and to, uh, you know, I know one of the parts of the job is to raise funds. So you probably don't want to take the time to um, do that initial research. On average, each of the venture capital investor databases that I've created, uh, such as the USA version here, they already have around 100 to 200 hours of research built in to create them. So by buying them from, again, going to my Fiverr link just a bit below, uh, you can buy this database and, and many others. You've saved all that time uh, because I work on this particular uh, type of database uh, 330 days a year, uh, and I work on it full time uh, to create databases that, uh, again, are uh, ones that are in high demand for startups that are looking to raise funds for their company. 
Now I hope this video has been helpful. Please contact me via my Fiverr link below if you're interested in this database. Uh, and thank you very much for watching the video.